<laughs> Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome to Three Scary Games. I hope you're ready today. This first game is called Teke Teke Moonlit Dread, which I think, if I'm correct, let me check. This is, is a it's a game inspired by the Japanese urban legend uh, Teke Teke, which I actually am not. I might be familiar with, I don't think I am, um, but instead of spoiling myself to what it is, uh, I'm just gonna be surprised by playing the game. Okay, I gotta move my coffee to the side because there have been times I've spilled coffee all over myself when I've gotten jump scared. Done! Nice. What's this? Discord notification? Oh, I have to click on it. <gasps> donut! <gasps> what a balanced meal. A donut and looks like uh, off-brand Pepsi. Mmm, delicious. Okay, what am I reading? Ooh, mysterious, brutal incident man found cut in half with no clues. Asahikawa, Japan. A terrifying incident has occurred in Asahikawa City. A man was discovered in a shocking state, gruesomely cut in half with no clear evidence as to what caused his demise. The incident took place near a bustling train station in the heart of Asahikawa. Asahikawa City last Friday night. According to the police, a passerby drawn by an unusual sound approached the scene only to be confronted with a horrifying sight. The man lay sprawled on the ground, appearing as though he had been brutally uh, severed by an unknown assailant wielding a hand axe. Ugh, puddles of blood stained the surrounding area. Stunned by the gruesome scene he witnessed, he promptly alerted the authorities, leading to the arrival of investigators who swiftly secured the area for further examination. However, as of now, there is no substantial evidence to shed light on the motive or perpetrator behind the heinous act. Speculation has arisen, suggesting possible connection to the urban legend known as Teke Teke. The legend involves around... Uh, revolves around a vengeful spirit of a woman severed at the waist who haunts the train station surroundings, dragging herself with her hands while emitting spine-chilling screams. It's important to note that the police have not officially acknowledged these rumors and are diligently investigating all leads to uncover the truth. The uh, occurrence of this horrific incident near the train station in Asahikawa City has generated unease and fear among local residents and commuters. I think I would be a little bit uneasy if that happened on my regular commute, too. Yeah. <laughs> The police have prioritized the safety of the community and pledged their utmost efforts to solve the case. We fervently hope that the truth behind this incident will be revealed expeditiously. We will continue to update our readers with any further developments on the ongoing investigation. Related articles. Is the urban legend Teke Teke rumor related to the incident? What is the truth? And residents of Asahikawa City are terrified. Debate rages about the relationship between the incident and Teke Teke. Okay. Could just be a murderer or two. This is awful. How could this happen? I didn't click through that. Okay, do I need to... New notification. Reminder, get groceries. Ah, crap! I almost forgot to pick up some groceries. But you have a perfectly good donut right here with your soda. I mean, like, for tonight, you're fine, right? Dude, you just read about an urban legend. This is kind of cozy. I like this. Nice room. Open. <gasps> Secrets? Oh, it's a grocery list. Uh, two times milk, one times olive oil, one times white rice, uh, instant ramen, cereal, tea bags, and snacks, and dish soap. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got our grocery list. We're good to go. Let's go. Let's get out. I don't know why that grocery list just reminded me of the uh, SpongeBob episode where it was like a ghost, but it wasn't a ghost. It was a haunted shopping list. Oh, we're right near the train station. We live literally right next to it. Okay, so you're telling me you read that article and you're still like, yes, it's safe for me to go outside at night. With a potentially murderous person. Also, we have a sprint bar. Wait, our sprint bar doesn't recharge. Oh, it does. It just takes a long time. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Yet. What do I need to know about this this uh, legend to keep me safe? Is there anything to keep me safe? I'm just gonna run. It can't possibly show up this early, right? Right? Maybe? 24 hour, let's do it. Whoa! He's speeding. Where are you going? Can I come with you? Okay, there must have been another murder. Well, at least it's not me. Maybe we'll be safe tonight. Hello. Hi. 
What's your name? Are you a, uh... Hi. Can I talk to any of these people? I don't think so. All right, let's open up our shoppy list. We need two times milk. We need two, two gallons of milk for some reason. Can I pick anything up? Bathroom? Okay, we can't flush the toilet. We don't have a reflection. Blood soap? I bet that's blood soap. Grab olive oil. Okay, so we'll just go around and grab what we need. Hi. Uh. <laughs> why are you following me? At night, the old woman's tales come true. Run, young man. Stop. From who? You? I know it's not you. I'm really scared though now. Do you have anything to tell me about this legend? Where is all my stuff? Grab instant ramen, nice. Okay, grab snacks. I needed three snacks. Sorry, I gotta go down the aisles. Dish soap, is it blood dish soap? Bloody soap. You think you're getting clean, but you're really getting dirty. Washing your hands with the blood. Good evening. Have you heard about the Teke Teke incident? Um, no, I haven't. Teke Teke, you mean the urban legend? Yes, exactly. You're young, maybe you're not aware. But it seems the legend has turned real lately to reality. It's absolutely terrifying. Wait, really? I don't think I can pick anything up. Tonight, right here in this town, if she appears, you won't escape her grasp. Be careful, young one. Are you Teke Teke? Be very careful. Uh, yeah, um, I'll be careful. Goodbye. Goodbye? Hello? Oh. Okay, so where's the rest of my stuff that I need? The store is too confusing. I tried searching while we were looking, but I don't think I could search while, while I was looking. Grab milk. Okay, I got two milk. Must have been almond milk. It wasn't refrigerated. Okay, I need to find white rice, cereal, and tea bags. Is this not cereal? Wait, where is it? Where? Tea bags? <laughs> Get in, boys. We're doing the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> cereal, nice. And then white rice is the last thing I need. I think the hardest part of this game is finding the white rice. I've looked down every single aisle. I don't know where it is. Isn't it so weird how you can like vaguely recognize brands even if it's really pixelated like this? Just by like their general packaging and colors and everything? I don't think you realize how subjected you are. Subjected? Is that the right word? I don't care. To uh, marketing. Miss Lady, where is the white rice? I can't find the rice. All right, it's time to do a summoning circle for the rice. Forget Teke Teke, the rice is my arch nemesis in this game, Jesus. Literally what? Did the old lady buy out all of the rice? She must have. I, it's nowhere. Oh my God, it's finally here. Okay, that was, that was really tough to find actually. Well, we have all our groceries. Beep boop. Hello. I need to check out. Oh, it's free tonight? Thanks. <laughs> need to find the cashier to settle my bill. Well, she's not here. It sounds like a her problem. You know? But I suppose we'll try and find her. I should probably not use all my run, right? Back to let me make sure it's all settled up. So I'm a little bit nervous. Is she gonna be cut in half? Hey, why is that locked? <laughs> I work here now. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Are you okay? Oh, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I came here to settle my bill. I gotta get home and I don't want to get chopped in half. I see, wait here for a moment. I'll be back soon. So please return to the store and wait there. All right, I guess I'm going back. I'm gonna snoop here though. What are you hiding? Are you the axe murderer? <laughs> Just find like a bloody axe. All right, goodbye. See you later. Uh, that sounds like a horrible car accident. Are you okay? Oh no, I don't think they're okay. Hello? Call 911! Call- do something! You're telling me you're just gonna see this and you're just gonna be like, <laughs> it's not my problem. Help them. Alright. It's not my problem, I guess. Oh my god, can you call the police actually though? Is there a phone in here? We're just ignoring that, okay? Cool, good citizen. That's, <laughs> check out. Good evening, I'd like to pay for these. Also call, also I'd like to report a car accident of someone who's very dead outside. That will be 2,750 yen, please. Excuse me, what's wrong with that old lady? What old lady? Oh, that old lady is a bit unusual, I think. At night, she often tells strange stories. And then she crashes the car right in front of our, our store. Strange stories at night, huh? Here's your change. Thank you. Goodbye. Is the car still gonna be there? Uh, miss? The train is going. Miss, you locked me in. Can I go back? Miss? Wait, I'm locked in the store. Do I have to go in the bathroom? What's going on in this bathroom? A business card? But whose? A train ticket! Okay. So, so what does that mean? And why was it- Why am I locked in here? A flashlight. Can I go this way? Am I just supposed to wait by the door? Oh god, I'm scared actually. I'm actually scared. Open. Is this gonna work? Open. Open the door! Open the door! Just go. Just go. Also, my sprint doesn't like respawn very fast. Do I hear tippy tappies? I hear tippy tappies! <laughs> Ending one of two dismembered. I don't want to be dismembered. I want to be mem- I want to be remembered. Okay, how do I get the other ending? Like, not die? Continue? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Look at me, I'm dead on the ground. That's me. At least my two pieces are resting together, I guess. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. How am I supposed to beat that? Because she was way too fast for me to run. All right, we'll let the credits roll. I think this might be the end of it. Yeah, thank you for playing. We'll try and get the second ending. Maybe the second ending is like staying in the store or something? Hmm. Hey there, Pookie Bear, it's me. I'm back. 
Remember when we weren't dismembered? <gasps> there it is! We didn't get to see that before. I see you! Oh, he's playing with his prey, and his prey is me! What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna run around the back and see if we can get back in that back way. <laughs> Goodbye! Reminder, hold shift to run. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Except our stamina bars, like, kind of, like, we need to work out a little bit more, I think. Me thinks. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Obtained a car key. Okay. I can't see. I can't see anything. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god, I couldn't see anything. All right, I'm assuming it's not that car. I'm assuming it's this car. Stop it. Stop it. I'm so sorry, Miss Lady. I'm stealing your car. Drive. <gasps> Drive! Now it looks like we did the murders. We're just gonna get framed. <laughs> There's a severed lady, a stolen car. Oh my God, and now we kill Teke Teke too. What is the lore community gonna think? The cryptid community. The, 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 um, legend community. What is it called? Yeah, urban legends. That's what, uh, that was the term I was thinking of. All right, well, we survived in ending two of two. We got the car ending. Very nice. All right, now that that game is over, let's go ahead and take our stolen car and drive over to the next game. <laughs> this is me driving. <laughs> This next game is called Haunted Hotel. Let's go ahead and get started. There's an interesting design on these doors and a, and a flashing lights warning, I think. All right, let's get started. Hello? We're in a hotel that if my suspicion is correct, could be haunted. Is door six the one that I have to go into? Cause it's gonna be six, six, six. Yo, bro, that's six, six, six. That's the devil's number. Okay. We just have to make it to the end of the hallway. I think I can do that. I think we should be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen when I get to the end of the hallway. Do I hear something? No? Oh, this wasn't even the end of the hallway. How long? This is a long hotel. There's no curves or anything. It's just one big, one big rectangle. I'm concerned about the lack of scares that have been happening. Okay, another hallway. Well, you know what? Let's just sit back and relax. I don't think anything bad is gonna happen. It was 60, wait. Nice. <laughs> I don't think anything bad is gonna happen to me, you know? I think we're gonna be fine. Is this the end of the hallway or there's more hallways? There's more hallways. It's just a really long hotel. So, uh, how's your week been? Let me know down in the comments. I hope it's been well. Oh no. Oh no, the light is flickering and there's something? There? I can't see what it is yet. Murder tools? Gnomes? Ah! Wet floor sign? It's wet with, with blood. Okay, we'll continue on. I didn't check the room number. I probably should have. What room number that was. It's fine though. Is there supposed to be sound? I haven't heard anything. Maybe I'll just add my own like creepy music in. There we go. That changes the mood a bit, huh? <laughs> I bet this is just building up for a really big jump scare. Except if there's no sound, then I feel like the jump scare won't be as terrifying maybe? I say that though, but I've been startled by my own shadow in games before, so. This feels like it might be important. 
You know, I was making a joke about the 666, but I feel like with the numbers that we're doing right now, we might actually be going to room 666. <laughs> it's still quite a long ways away though, and I can't run, so maybe not. I could be misjudging the scenario here. I sure hope no, 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 no mask murderers hiding behind any of these doors, staring at me through the peephole. What the dog doing? All right, I don't know if it's better or worse without <laughs> without sound. <laughs> I might add sound effects in later, but just imagine as I'm playing this. I don't know if I did some setting or weird or something, but it's just silence. It's just me and my own voice right now. And the anticipation of what's to come next. I want to see that man again. He had an incredible bear crawl. His abs, you know, if he does that all the time, his abs and his arms, they've got to be in like tip top shape. I, I got to start doing that, to be honest. Am I just trying to make it to the elevator? There's no way we're making it to the elevator. There's no way. Also, why does it end on such a random thing? 280? Beep boo, beep boo, beep boop. Ah! That was completely silent. <laughs> All right, a bit of a walking simulator. I don't know if something happened with, with my settings or my computer. The game had no sound or if that was intentional. Maybe it added to the spooks. All right, well, there's a lot of ketchup now. There's a lot of me all over the uh, the elevator in this very long hotel. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's go to the next game, I guess. Warning, this next game contains flashing lights and jump scares. All right, this last game is called Walking Home. Let's just go ahead and get started with it. Up. Oh, okay. We're on our way home. I'm gonna assume the way that home is the way that you put me in. I don't have to walk backwards. Get some creepy music. Or maybe this is the music we like to listen to on our way home. Oh my God, didn't that look like somebody? Is that graffiti? Is that like a demon baby? Not the demon babies. And I'm staying on the sidewalk. I don't wanna get hit by a car. People have been driving crazy today. Am I just in a loop, looping scenario? Hello, do you need help? That was very clearly a ghost. What the hell was that? It was a translucent being crying in the middle of the street. And you're like, yeah, that's pretty normal. Okay, so is that the lady that's gonna be haunting us or is that one of the victims of the thing that's gonna come after me? These are the questions that I need answered immediately. If I can't have them answered, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Hello? All right, the light went out. I think we're okay. I think, I think we're gonna be just fine, actually. The demon baby isn't coming after me. We haven't seen Crying Lady in like... So dark, I have to use a flashlight? I thought I heard double footsteps. Are those double footsteps or are those my footsteps? You're creeping me out, man. I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately. So I run away, I run away, I run away, I run. Eyes. Run. Time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go somewhere. 
No, this isn't the way home. And that's not ketchup. Oh. If it, is it just a thing of if I see the eyes, I don't go down that way? Oh God, every hallway has more and more ketchup. It's not ketchup. It's actually hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here every week. It looked like she disappeared, though. So, like, we're good, right? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, what did I do to you ever? You don't deserve to... It's dark. Live. Dark. Damn you. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do to you, to you? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do to you, to you? I see you. I hate you. Oh. That's kind of mean. You're kind of being a bully right now. Okay, we'll walk in the woods. Well, if I had to say, I would say we're in H E double L. <laughs> Most likely. I can't run anymore. Does this mean I'm gonna get jump scared? I should probably move my coffee before I get jump scared so I don't spill it all over me. I'll just move this way. <laughs> don't laugh at me, you're not allowed to laugh. Only I'm allowed to laugh. Can I run? No, I can't. I feel like... It well, all I see is me in the trees. It's like the Lorax, but scarier. <gasps> Maybe she is the Lorax. Okay. Sorry. Uh, guys? <laughs> Uh-oh. today. It looks so good. What'd you do? You murdered some people? I like it. Looks great. Is that it? Where am I? A crib? I was a baby having a dream about this? That's not a normal baby dream, I don't think. Where am I? I don't know. Is this like a hospital or? Hi, hi. <laughs> ending two of two, the bad ending. You're dead. But what, how do I get the good ending though? Thanks for playing. All right, so this time I'm uh, gonna ignore the crying lady because she turned out to be really mean. All right, goodbye lady. I'm gonna ignore you because I have a hot cup of steaming ramen waiting for me at home and a cup of coffee. Mm. Nice blanket. Gonna relax, walk, walk, some, walk, walk, watch some YouTube. Is that it? Am I fine? I'm just going home. But I have my flashlight actually though. And then one of two, the good ending. I'm home and everything is fine. So you should just ignore people in need is the, uh, <laughs> apparently the uh, moral of the games that we've played today. How lovely. All right, well, that was three scary games. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you did, be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. But we're not alone out there, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. Moral of the story, walking at night is dangerous and don't help people in need. <laughs> don't, that's, don't take that away from this video.